What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and in this video I'm going to show you guys 15 more tweaks that's compatible with iOS 9.3.3 Jaybird that was just released yesterday. I have a video to that linked in the description and I also made another 15 tweaks earlier yesterday. That's also going to be linked in the description or annotation on the screen and you guys could check those out. So the first one in this 15 is called color banners. Color banners is, you know when you get your notification, you get an email or some, it pops up like it slides down from the top. So a color banner does it, basically just add color to that. So if I do a, hold on, that's a, hold on, that's a different one. So if I go to color banners right here, and send a test banner right there, you see that screen. And you could actually go in you can kind of switch it up a little bit now it's blue so that's basically what color banner is guys it just gives your notification right there a little bit of color so my second one is called by the font by the font is basically this as you can see the font looks different I mean so that's real cool the font looks different and by the font you just go to city where is it at and the theme that I'm using for this is called China Cat. It's called China Cat right there. You just download by the font three, download by the font three, and add that, and it actually takes over your whole device. So if I go to Twitter, you can see the whole font is different right throughout Twitter. So that's what by the font does, guys. And my third one is called cylinder. If you remember barrel, barrel. This is barrel is like cylinder, but for some reason, uh, I like barrel more. But this one has a lot more options in there. So if I go to settings, go to effect, and look at that. It has so much. And whenever you enable one, you could enable multiple ones at the same time. So I got that, so I'm gonna turn that one off, make it one. I know you see the way it looks. So yeah, that's cylinder guys, so definitely check that one out. And then my fourth one is called Blurred. Blurred is basically a tweet that gives you this keyboard right here. So if you're tired of the white keyboard, you don't have any other keyboard installed and you don't want that white one that's what blur does it just gives you that grayish black um, keyboard for your device throughout your device so my fifth one is called repower repower is the turn trying to turn the device off all those options right there you got slide the power off slide to reboot and slide to respring if I slide that one it will respring reboot power off all that kind of stuff I'm not really gonna do it right now in the video but you have the options right there so definitely check it out. And my sixth one is called Virtual Home. Oh, let's go to settings. And you guys can see all the where is it at? There it is at the bottom right there. So you can see that tap and then a short hold that will put it to sleep. Double tap is give you the reachability. Single tap is home. So if I want to go home from right here, I tap once and it'll bring me home. So that's what virtual home does, guys. You, you guys could go in there and play with it and check it out. Yeah, so that's my sixth one. And then my seventh one is called pull to respring. So if I go to settings and I want to respring my device, all I have to do is just drag that all the way down and it'll respring. As you can see, the loading bar right there and it'll respring, but I don't want to respring my device right now. I drag it down, boom, all the way down, and your device will respring. So that one is called pull to respring and then number eight is phantom for snapchat so let's open up snapchat and there's the settings right here guys so basically you could just you could set up a timer for you to take a picture boom if you take it you could upload it i'm gonna delete that come on I'm gonna delete that, but if I want to record a video, I don't have to hold on to the record button. And look, it's it's recording for way more than 10 seconds, and I'm not holding on to the to the record video. button. I don't have to. And hold it's recording, on to the record. so I could 
upload pictures right from my photo library just like that videos I don't have any videos on my phone right now all that stuff I could switch it up go down here to settings got the whole configuration and the settings right here for for that but the only thing I don't like with this is the fact that the ads as you can see right there it has ads on each but you can exit off so there you go that's how snap I mean that's how phantom for snapchat works and that's number eight so number nine is tap to flip tap tap flip so if I open up my camera I don't want to flip flip it around to the front facing camera all I gotta do, do is just tap tap flip flips around to the front flips around back to the back and it flips around I mean so tap tap flip is actually real cool I like that one I always have it on my main device like after I t delete all the tweaks that I don't use that one always stays and then number 10 is proximity lock proximity lock is this if I put my finger over the proximity sensor my hand my phone closes just like that like that and my phone closes and that's called proximity lock and then my 11th one is called analog analog status so if you look up top the clock up top is in analog form so basically yeah that's all it does is just switch it from like the digital clock to like an analog like the regular one right there what I like to do when I use that tweak I like to put the regular clock close to it so I could tell the time because with that little sm small analog clock right it's kind of hard to tell the real time but if I, if I keep the regular clock close to it I look up there and I could see the time and also it's on the lock screen as you can see right there so that's really cool and that one is called analog status and then my the other one which is number 12 I think it's called CC background CC background is this if you want to switch up the background of your control center there you go I just put that wallpaper there so if I go to settings scroll all the way down CC background select an image moments whichever one I want tap on it it'll respring and I go back and I have that image right there that's the one I have right there in my control center and that's how it's done it's called CC background and then just like that CC clean as you can see my control center looks a little bit different it doesn't have everything it doesn't have like the airplane mode and uh, all the other stuff it's not in there and I could have removed a lot more by using this tweak right here it's called CC clean I'll go in there could remove whatever I want to remove I mean so if you want to clean up your CC if you want to clean up your control center that's what you gotta do and yeah it's real cool and it's free so check it out and then my 14th one is called color switches color switches is basically this as you can see the switches right here is red I mean it's red and the little outline around that one up top is green so if you want to switch them up, CC switches, go in there. That's how we have the green around the little off thing right there. We we'll go in there. We could switch up the colors, all that kind of stuff. So that's how that's done, and that's called a color switching. So check it out. It's decent. And then my last one is called Dock Shift. shift right there we can enable it and as you can see right there it says blurred mostly and then transparent and if I go out here you can see the dock is basically transparent there's nothing around it and that's the way it looks so that's how that's that's how that tweak works guys and that's the, the last one and yeah that's it check out all these tweaks some of them might be buggy but after you set them up initially everything will be working fine so definitely give this video a thumbs up I, pre I appreciate it subscribe it's Prince with a GP 101
Peace.